Isle Todd here. Connie here. And we're in Kannapolis, North Carolina. We're going to walk around and take in some of the sights. And uh, we're going to stop by this cool antique store. I think it's called Marketplace Antiques. Look in there as well. So we have a might grab some lunch as well. So happy Mother's Day. Yay, yes. So <laughs> let's go. go. So in downtown Kannapolis, which I've been here before with you guys, but Connie hasn't been here. This is the Dale Earnhardt Tribute Park, with the big statue of Dale right here in the center. So Connie's never seen this. So I wanted to take her down here to see uh, Dale's statue. Can't wait. Yep. There he is right here. It's really nice. It's a nice statue of him. What I love about the statue too, he's got his sunglasses. I think in this pocket. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool they added that. Yeah, there's the sunglasses that he normally wears. But there's Dale. It's a great statue. It looks just like him. It does. does such a great job. And it's, I don't know, it's what, about maybe eight feet tall, ten feet tall. I mean, it's huge. It's a big statue. But it's a lovely park. And uh, just really great remembrance of Dale. And over here they have a little monument right down here. He's a seven-time Winston Cup champion. But there he is. I, I just love this little part they, they made for him. And what I love about this, I'm going to walk down this way, but it's very colonial look to it, like kind of a williamsburg -y look to it. it Williamsburg-y or word, but you got to get pubs down here, and I think the antique place is right down here as well, along here. Let me go in there and check it out. But I don't... Really cute. Isn't that nice? Really yeah, I do too. You get those umbrellas out here. It's gonna start getting hot. Oh, yeah, it's gonna start getting <laughs> you know they have umbrellas, but that's a Oh yeah, it's all no no smoking. But um, I don't. I think it's the first time Connie's walked down here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we love this little area of Kannapolis too. We come here for uh, Christmas time. But yeah, here it is right here. Um, the, the market's right here. It's an antique mall. Never been here. It's the first time we've ever been here. Yeah, the Marketplace Antiques. Yep. It's really nice out front, too. I like it. So let's go inside and check it out. And the girls are super nice right here. We just talked to them. We always like asking permission to film, and they said definitely. So I want to show you this place. It's huge. I was, I was surprised how huge it is. They showed us the map. And, uh, yeah, and check this out. It's a golf cart Rolls Royce for sale. They got financing also. It's $7,500. It's built in 1984. It looks like something Bob Hope would drive in the golf course. <laughs> that's pretty oh, neat. That's so that is so cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I love it. But we're gonna head down each hallway and right off the bat, check this out. <laughs> Look, right here. Toys. And there's Elvira. Oh, that's great. It's uh, 80 bucks for that. It's a standee of Elvira and like she's in a coffin or something. But right off the bat, <laughs> I'm just seeing all these toys. And Connie knows all of the toys, so. I need to pick these guys up eventually too. I've got him, but I don't have these two. I'm gonna eventually get them. Oh, they got the graveyard guy right here. Oh, look at the screen queen. Oh, that's um Sally. Yeah. I might have to get that. What does it say? There's screen queen. Screen queen, and then Sally. There's... Oh, there's Jack. So this the set. So you get Jack and uh, Sally. You know I love these. Two. Love the sippy cups like that. The little tumblers. Oh, that's up to you. I think you should Sally. I think I can put it up front. Okay. <laughs> she already found something. Now look at all this. Holy moly. I love the Gill Man. Now, I mean, literally right to the left side. As soon as you enter, this booth is awesome. The prices aren't too bad either. Wow. Tons of pop. Oh, there's Ron Weasley. I don't have that one. Oh, this is all Harry Potter. All Harry Potter. And I actually like Stan right here. There's Stan, and he, I can't see a price on him. I have to, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what price these are. I'm guessing, because Voldemort's 16. But I need to show Connie. This all Harry Potter pops. Oh, my God. They're all, there's some of the new ones. Oh, and wow. Oh, look at Hagrid, all dressed up. Oh, wow, Hagrid. And I saw the coffee mug here. Look, always, yeah. The late, great Alan Rickman that, uh, Play Snape. Yeah. I love that 
Remus Lupin, but right off the bat, we walk in, you get all these pops, and they've got all these uh, Star Wars figures over here. Wow, very cool, right off the bat. But I'm actually, I, I'm actually more into the vintage toys, but I do like the Harry Potter pops. So, oh, look at the, oh, there's Beetlejuice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, he's a He's a bank. And there's one of the he's characters, 30. Adam. He's 30 for him. Yeah. yeah he's adorable. And the new movie's coming out yeah. not too long from oh. now. Oh. I think I've got that one, though. Dude. Yeah, I've got him. Okay. So, and there's the, the actual puzzle. DVD. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. That's neat $16. packaging. And then up here, you have the Haunted House from Disney. Oh, Tapestries. That's the cool. Horror. We've got him. We've got her. We need we the have, one. We have this We've one. got two of them, actually. We actually need the one in red. Where <laughs> she's wearing red. Yep. Oh, here's this. Oh, right. I like that one. That's 40. That one's 40. Yeah. Yeah. So they got, they got a lot of these at collector prices. <laughs> so, but Connie's going to get that cup. All right. We're going to head down the hallway here. Oh, look at this booth right here. All these Disney figures. Look at that. Oh, that's real nice. These are, and, and the air conditioning is amazing in here. It's nice and cool. But look at all these collectibles. Disney stuff. Nice. Oh, I like that uh, Mickey Mouse cookie jar. That's cool. Just kind of strolling through so you can see the different booths. So you got a little boutique shop as well. So it's new and used um, items. A lot of vintage clothing. That's one thing I'm noticing. I might find a hat for Connie. Connie's starting to really get into the hats. So she's stuck over here. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> But they, they got them numbered as well. There she is. So she might find a hat today, too. It seems like the kind of place that might have a hat. So, yeah, they're numbered. So they do have a map that you can get if you're looking for a specific vendor. Find where they are. Hmm. I don't know. I saw that. Yeah. She kind of loves this stuff, too. Because she's going to want to stop by the little boutiques like this. Look at Yep. Like, now I'm gonna say they're like fairy wings. That's nice. Really cute outfits. Yeah. And like I'm saying, they this a lot of it's new and old kind of mishmash. I think this is my Yeah. You see the hat? The ladybugs on it? I guess they're ladybugs or strawberries. Or what melons maybe. I'm not sure what what those are. Watermelon. Watermelons. That's a cute hat. What's that one going for? Nineteen. Nineteen. Looks about your size, though. Or you, you want a bigger brim, I think. So, all right, we're gonna head this way. And one thing Connie pointed out that yeah, a lot of you ladies out there would love this place because they've got a lot of uh, cool little trinkets and perfume bottles and nice stuff in your bedroom and also clothing. Yeah, that's nice. All kinds of cool paintings and everything. Like a lot of designer stuff. Yeah, I like that. But you guys know me. I'm into the vintage toys. Don't know if we'll find any here. I'm not sure we might. Who knows? I don't know where Connie's going. She's going back up this way. Is that kind of statues and stuff? Yeah. A lot of more jewelry. more jewelry, okay. You'll find a lot of earrings, jewelry to the ladies. Yep. Which kind nice. kind of will probably find something. If she found that cup, she'll probably find something else. Alright, I'm gonna head down this way. There's a lot to see. Check out the we got some vintage paintings on the wall here as well. And that zebra. More decorative stuff, a lot of designer stuff, that's for sure. Making our way through. Slowly but sure, there's an upstairs too. We're gonna go up there as well. We've got a signed car right here. Got an autograph on it. Mike something. Can I get out? Uh oh. They do have some toys to get uh, superheroes. Somebody went through the purses. You know, one of the dinos dinosaurs there. I can't remember those. There's all kinds of figures here on the shelving. You got bags, Michael Core. They also got the. Um, Oh, what's the one you like right there? Michael Core. What's the one with the C on it? The coach. coach. 
Get the coach ones. I don't know if it's a real one. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. No, I don't think it is. It's a used one. It is a real one. Okay, it's a hundred dollars for that one. And it's a used. But um Michael Core. Oh, it's a lot of room. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah. This is more of like a travel bag. Yeah, it is. You could use it as a purse. Too. Right. But um, yeah, because I mean you've got the zips and all that stuff in here and all the little things. You could use it as a purse, but it's there you go. So they do have furniture here as well. Kind of a art deco y furniture. Old grandfather clock. Right here. The bookcase. All lamps are ten dollars. Oh the little Westie right there, looks like. <laughs> yep. Seven dollars. Seven bucks for a little Westie. It says all the lamps are ten dollars. <laughs> the one looks like an anchor right there. All the lamps are ten dollars. And here's a rooster. Kinda loves our roosters. And check him out. He's thirty two. He's heavy too. But that's a that's a real piggy bank. <laughs> yeah. It's like cast iron. He's like real heavy. The old, look at this. The old chair wine bottle. The old that is neat. And you got the uh, Boone Cola, which I'm, I've never heard of Boone Cola. But there you go. There was a Boone Cola. That was nice. $24.95 each. Looks like. That's a cool painting. Yeah. They're nice. Now we found a cool store here. Like, a lot of this stuff looks like stuff Connie would wear. Got all the hats up there. And earrings. Cute little tops for the summertime. There you go. Real nice. So like I said, for you ladies, this is definitely a place you'd want to come and shop. Tyler Candle Company. Walking this way. Remember those, uh, <laughs> you used to have those <laughs> in your kitchen. Had the huge fork and spoon. Yeah, a little bit of everything here. Got the preserves and jams right here. Got the honey. Really cool stuff. Especially, a lot, again, it's a lot of designer stuff that I'm noticing. So we are now up on the second floor. Oh, look at that Miss Piggy right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And uh, some of the old... Got the porcelain dolls, Mickey and Minnie. Kind of like they're twelve dollars each. Kind of look like a salt and pepper shaker almost. I don't. They're just little porcelain statues, I think. Mm-hmm. So they have those old uh, sewing machine, some old lanterns. There's a hat right there, honey. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, Olympics. That's cool. That's a nice hat too. Let's see what you got. There she is. It looks good on you. It's like an old, is that Janice Joplin? Yes, yeah, a little pop of uh, Janice Joplin. That's neat. I like that of her. She got her mic in her hand and everything. So yeah, they have an elevator. It goes up here too, so you don't have to take the stairs. The stairs are kind of steep. So, you got some LPs here, some vinyl. But this is really nice. Look at the old wood floor too. So like I said, a lot of these buildings have been around. Ever since uh, Cannon Mills was here, they probably use these for offices and stuff. Through the old locker. That's cool. Old first aid kit. We used to have one of these right here at our house when I was growing up. A little bit smaller, but same company. <laughs> wow, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Holy, no. Yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> Now here's the elevator right here. So they have shopping carts as well. We old the ducks here. Those are cute. If you own a Jeep, you know, you put those on there. It has all acorns, different uh, like pumpkins and acorns and stuff on them. Those are cute. But it goes way over here. So we're gonna go down each aisle and see what they have. It's a stained glass, yeah. Old singer. Old singer. Yeah. Sewing machine. 
Probably the whole thing right here too, this one. The table and everything. That's what my grandma had. Yeah, these are cute. I like these old put stuff in there like your potpourri and stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure what um, they're candle holders too. Oh they okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Really just, yeah, so <laughs> Oh cool trains. Some vintage trains. Oh, remember these right here when I was a kid back in the seventies. That was your that was your video game player right there. Baseball, football. Those are neat. Yeah, so I'm gonna go down this way. There's a lot of vendors here. It's an arrow pointing this way, so maybe we're going the wrong way. Maybe we have to go that yeah. It, it wants you to go that way. So we'll do that. We'll follow we'll follow the arrows. Got a lot of vintage clothing right here. Remember these. I think a picture of Vera Fawcett wearing something like that <laughs> in the photograph years ago. But yeah, we're gonna head down this way. But I love what they, they refinished that whole the flooring here. Really nice. So it looks like they have local artists. Also have their little gallery here. You can put their stuff up on display. You can purchase their artwork. So there's another <laughs> room over here. It's called the Rose Room. So there's a ramp going up to that. We'll check that out too. So. I mean, it goes all the way around of oh, Connie's Colony. Let's see what she... Yeah, they do. <laughs> yep, yeah, I love mom. <laughs> oh, look, at here's one of the cat beds right here. That's the little toys. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this, this is a fancy one right here. Look at that one. Yeah. Missy was alive. She would have liked that. So, Missy was actually my mom's cat that we adopted when mom passed away. She was with us for at least, what, eight years, I think. Longer than that. And, um, but she was a great cat. Oh, look at the old parking meters. That's cool. This, he's got a little bit of, little bit of everything. He's got uh, all kinds of clocks here. Oh, record player. Wow, right there. It's old Emerson. That's neat. And more clocks over here. Very nice. Wow. Oh, look at this one right here. That's cool. <laughs> the forks and the spoons. Very nice. And there's Elvis. Cool, there's some more. And then, uh, oh, the old Timex display case. That's pretty neat. Remember those, like in the Sears and stuff like that. Some old lamps. So cool. I'll look carefully at the uh, booths here and see uh, what they have. Neat. But we're gonna go up and to over here that way. That's why I catch the tail end of this uh, aisle of booths. Got a little matchbox case right there. That's neat. You get all, all the cars in here on display. But yeah, we'll make our make our way over there. But we go up this ramp and take a right more preserves pumpkin butter pineapple jam wow canisters all old, old canisters here so yep right here did the pumpkin butter you get the pineapple jam sweet pepper relish I spotted these models here of the uh, this is the Queen Mary one 120 for that but look at this galley right here look at the detailing on that $400. that is beautiful we get a better shot the details are amazing okay that's nice and that's the uh, lay Salol Royal 1669 I don't know if I pronounced that right or not but that's beautiful. It'll be Absolutely. great on display in your home. Gorgeous. But let me look over here. They, he, this booth right here has got all kinds of cool trinkets and stuff. Look at that. Love that mantle clock. Okay, we gotta kind of go through here. Check that chair out with the horns. That is wild. Whoa. How much is that? It's like 1600 I think. It's five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. The antlers there. Let me see how much those are. 150 that's really nice yeah these are great 
Look at him carrying the deer. So cool. Getting a shot of everything, little film projector. Oh, there's Mini Pearl. There she is, old fan of Mini Pearl. Mini Pearl. That is so cute. I love that. I love it. <laughs> Great. I'll show the old trigger mechanism here for the old musket or something there. That's cool. The dream catcher. Yeah, I saw that. That's a that's pretty amazing statue. Right there. I, w I wouldn't know where to put this, something like that. <laughs> Thing's huge. Yep, so more fun stuff over here. Wow. Now these these kind of booths here, I really like these. A little bit of everything. I'm trying to talk so the music doesn't uh, get us uh, demonetized. <laughs> um, let's say the old blender out. That's neat. I remember we had one of those just like that. Get some old Flintstone glasses here. Those are cool. Love the Flintstones. We watch them on Sunday mornings. <laughs> we get up, believe it or not. You laugh, but we do. All the gemstones, quartz, and stuff like that. And amethyst here. A little bit of every different type. Yeah, the geodes down there. Crack open. See what's in there. It's in the fossil stuff. That's really neat. So I'm trying to get a little bit of everything on the video for you guys. Wow, it's so cool up here. I love the upstairs. Now I really like this booth. Look at all this stuff. It's great. You got used books too. Old books. Old Tonka. Jumbo right there. That's cool. I love the old statues. But we're going to head over there. And there's all these restaurants over here too. The baseball field is over there too. But um, yeah, I love stuff like this. Old tractor. Power track. Chain driven. Nice. We're just going through a little bit. A little dog right there. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I remember we had one of those. That is so cool. Well, that was one of our summer games used to play a lot with croquet. How much is that one? Oh, well, that and it's uh, get everything. It like, well, it's got everything with it, it looks like. Yeah. Whole set. I head down this way. Oh, look at these Walt Disney Vintage Walt Disney Mom and Dad Cups. Copy Cups. That is pretty cool. I like that. And they are $10 each. But these are definitely vintage coffee mugs from Disney. Mom and Dad. I love that. And the salt and pepper shaker from Disney. Those are cool. And those are $10 each as well. Yeah, we got some Disney, vintage Disney stuff right there. Really nice. Right, we're heading down this way. So much to see just on this one floor. Got all kinds of candles over here. Oh, look at the vintage clothing here. This whole area is all clothing and you got some glassware. You know, like Coca Cola glasses right here. Those are neat. More ducks. Well, doggy uh, duck. I mean, they're different themed. Oh, they're all different. Yeah, they're all themed out differently. Those are cool. And if you build a snowman in the front yard, here's his hat for Frosty the Snowman. A little Christmas booth here. Nice. I saw more toys over here. No Hot Wheels, some more pops. Oh, look at the old Hot Wheel tracks. Those are neat. I love the Hot Wheel. Vintage Hot Wheel t-shirt. Cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna walk around some more and look and check out this vintage Game Boy t-shirt. Since 89, that, I like that, it's pretty cool. Got all kinds of t-shirts here. I'm just kinda looking at everything, but Connie found a hat. It's only 11.50. It looked really good on her too. That is so neat, they kinda go with everything you wear. Very summery. Now, is this true for you guys? <laughs> right there. So it's getting even bigger. We came from this area. We still have the other side to do, but then we came here. <laughs> Check this out. So maybe it, it's very accessible too, which is really nice. But I'll, I'll take the stairs down. Um, got a lot of different vendors, that's for sure. We parked across the street over there and the train goes by. Yeah, the Amtrak, a lot of passengers will get picked up there. And a uh, little oh, stingray. Banana seat right there. That's cool. 
yeah get some old windows for restoration for your home if you want to put some antique windows in your house restore them but Connie's up there chit chat just coming now but um yeah all kinds of stuff to a quick glimpse of all these different booths yeah it's really nice oh, more toys and hot wheels <laughs> over there but because you know that I'm gonna spot those right here there's Connie right there she's coming so, but she's up there chitting chatting to one of the girls that work here a lot of vintage clothes I'm noticing as well like over here a lot of the old NASCAR stuff looks like it's somebody's um suit right there NASCAR uh, suit let's go over here wow that's pretty cool let's see not for sale oh well there's the driver right there but uh hey look shake and bake baby shake and bake uh, look it is Ricky Bobby's look right there <laughs> that's like a, and what's his name oh so they have all three I'm guessing that's all three characters main characters from uh Talladega Night, right there. <laughs> but I would definitely get the Ricky Bobby one. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. It's all three of the drivers from the movie. Oh, look at this Mickey Mouse. It's too small, but uh, that's pretty cool, though. It's Mickey Mouse. And that's a large. You need an extra large. That's cool. But, uh, all kinds of vintage NASCAR t shirts. And yeah, Miami Dolphins uh, jacket. Right there. Well, it's, it's colors of Miami Dolphin, but it uh, doesn't have the uh, symbol. There's King right there. Oh, Richard. Again, they have the vintage clothing right here as well. Got some toys right here. I'm going to go through that. Some pops. Nice. I don't think I can ride that. It's a little too small. But, um, but they always get new vendors here as well, it looks like. So little trinkets and everything here so I haven't found anything but Connie's got two things already she got that uh, Sally cup and then she's also got the hat so <laughs> she tends to find stuff like that when we come out to things like this so, that's a lot of fun just to get out on a Sunday afternoon come to Kannapolis look at all these cool antiques and vintage stuff now, I love those ducks those are cool That'd be cool to display. Oh, oh, she's looking. $10. That's not bad. Those are cute. I love those. So they're 10 each, probably. Yep. They're on sale. Oh, they're on sale, too. Okay, that's cool. We love the ducks. Okay, I found some vintage toys right here. You get the Water World, like pristine, right there in the box. Then you got um, Demolition Man. You got Action Jackson right here. Uh, well, not Action Jackson. Last Action Hero, sorry. <laughs> you got a box of figures down here. Oh, there's Amigo. Star Trek figures. Right there. Those are 30 for Kirk and Spock. You got some more of the modern day Star Trek figures right here. I like the whole set. It's a whole crew. 75. Oh, these are cool. I do like these for 30. Those are cool. But yeah, all kinds of Lucy's in here. But I'm digging the um, these right here. I'm not sure how much they are. Let me see. So it's 25. So they're around 25 each for the last action hero. I mean, like mint and their blister. And the uh, Demolition Man. It's 45. Yeah, these are like brand new. It's like they were just opened out of the box in the water world. 35. Yeah, they look brand new. Oh, here's some more up here, right here. Got Toy Biz stuff as well. Yeah, a little treasure trove of some vintage toys still in their blister. Look brand new. Got swashbucklers here, Pirates of the Caribbean. Figures. That's cool. Will, Will Turner and Sal Fang 15 each that's not bad still in the blister some G.I. Joe's a little bit newer ones oh wow yeah got a little bit of everything here nice little vintage find right here 
Got the Tasmanian Devil. Tycho. Cool. Probably found some stuff over here. Uh huh. Like, for instance, okay, books. These right. are really cute. They're two dollars. Really? The old Reader's Digest. Digest books. Okay. Well, those are neat. And secondly, look at this. This is absolutely well done. Yeah, it is. Sixty bucks. What? Sixty bucks on this little credit. Oh, don't let that lamp fall over. Then we'll be paying for it. <laughs> and um, the lamp is twenty-five. That is not bad at all. This chair. Yeah. Redone, yeah. Nice. Now this is really cool, guys. So look at the fabric here for like, if you want to reupholster your chairs or your sofas. Yeah, this is great. Got, this is real, been real nice stuff. Yeah, the heavy duty fabrics. So cool. Here's a map. Shows you how big this place is. Yeah, we came in right down there. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty huge. Here's a neat 70s vibe booth right here. Check that out. The neon. You have Elvis. You have Linda Carter. It's Wonder Woman. Wilma Brow advertisement. <laughs> oh, you some uh, signed ball caps right there. Well, this one anyway. That's cool. The old Star Wars poster there. But over here, we have this bubblegum machine right here. That's $95 for that. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Look at the license plate, too, for Maryland. Yeah, you get the all kinds of cool 50s stuff. Hound dog. This is cool. Here's another booth right here to get Star Wars figures right here. Some of the Kenner vintage ones. So, 14 for Bosk. So, Jawa, there's Greedo. So, yeah, you got some vintage uh, figures here. Got Vader's. I think that's from, um, what is it, the, in, from Disney, the Star Wars land, I think that is. Uh, Vader's. Uh, lightsaber. Then over here, oh, look at this one. It's, yeah, it's Ray's lightsaber. Yeah, from Batu. Yeah, Disney exclusive right here. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this is super cute. Look at this. It's $27.99. And then if you flip it back, look at that. That is precious. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just walking around here and checking out like bubblegum cards. He does have comic books. And he's got some really nice ones. Um got some bunch of Lucy's right here, figures. Right in this little box. Whoop, almost fell over, which I don't want to do. But I love that he's got some of these exclusive sabers uh, from Disney over here. Those are nice. And he's got the Kenner Star Wars figures. And I also noticed down there here, he's got like the first appearance. You get the Punisher in the Spider-Man comic book at the very bottom. But this is his booth right here. And this booth's got all kinds of 3D printed stuff. Look at these Vaders. Those are neat. But it's got the dragons, all kinds of different figures. Got the eggs, dragon eggs. Get the the Naboo fighters here. <laughs> That's awesome. So 3D's really in big time. Get the wolves over here too. Look at that. Very nice little booth here. And you are in NASCAR territory, especially Earnhardt territory. I got a little NASCAR stuff here. Yeah, really cool. The hair dryer. <laughs> Get some loose toys here. Like a lot of Disney toys. I'm not Disney, but uh, McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's stuff. That's cool. With the Kings there, you got Earnhardt and Petty. Very cool. 15 bucks for that. All kinds of cool little trinkets and collectibles. On this aisle right here. Some old vintage sunglasses. Those are neat. And check out this Flamingo band. I guess the whole, the whole set of the Flamingo is 50 bucks. Right there. <laughs> Those are cool. So now we're heading down this way. More to see. It says the Sears room. Right above the doorway there. Oh, yeah, got booths right down this hallway. Yeah, look at that. Right down this way. A couple more booths over here. But there's a whole area over here we're going to check out. Sorry, this probably be a little long video. And there's Charles Corral. Yeah, he's an inspiration for a lot of us vloggers. 
traveling around doing videos is uh, Charles Crawl because he used to travel in the United States in that camper at one time. Yeah, and he's buried, I think, up near Chapel Hill is where he's at. He and his wife are buried up there, but he's from this area. Another little shop here. Lux Living is what it's called. I right, checking it out. Got some all kinds of clothes and shoes. And we'll, yeah, to try on uh, your outfit. Right, check out this boutique, Ovalites. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Got crystals and incense and cool t-shirts. Nice. I'm not going to pronounce that, but uh, what do you think that is? I love this little area here. Look at that Mickey Mouse clock. A sign there, too. That bunny and rich bread advertisement right there. And you get the double bubble gum right here. But if you pull back, check out the old brick and that window. That's great. Love that. $110 right there for that Mickey Mouse bubble gum machine. I was like, he's missing his nose. Maybe he had a hat on too. That's what I'm thinking. More stuff. We're near the end because we're starting to get hungry. But uh, yeah, this this place is pretty big. Check that out. So it's a bubblegum card dispenser. <laughs> That's pretty wild. And tons of WCW cards right here. Bubblegum cards. This is a cool little booth here. And I picked up, or I'm going to pick up, this is the UK release of the uh, Order of the Phoenix of Harry Potter's paperback, five bucks. So I'm picking him up and uh, check this stuff out. I love the big galley, the ship right here. 42 for that. That's definitely old school. And this is one of the last aisles here, but they have all kinds of cool vintage clothing. They actually do have a lot of furniture in here as well. In this way, Kai's right behind me because she shot some cool stuff for her. There's just so much to see. I can't capture it all on video, that's for sure. I could be here all day. <laughs> really nice. You have the Tom Clark gnomes. An old typewriter, Underwood typewriter right there. I did find a Harry Potter book. That's good. Found something. Yeah. A lot of stuff. And this is the newer part they were telling us about here. That they're just now opening up but it says uh vintage clothes and collectibles so there's one booth over here we'll check that out it looks like this uh organ here or pianos have better days but this is a new area right here and this is one of the last sections so you got some old like members only jackets and t-shirts that jimmy johnson jacket right there and then over here you got nascar stuff and hot wheels Right here, so this is the last area. Look at the hoods you can get too. Those are cool. Put those in your game room or your man cave. If you're in the NASCAR. That's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, here's some uh, last stuff here, and that's about it. But uh, we picked up a couple things today. We're gonna head back downstairs and check out. That place was huge. Yes, it was. We had a lot of fun in there, and I do encourage you guys if you're ever in Canapolis, be sure to check out the marketplace yeah. antiques right here and historic downtown in Annapolis. But we're gonna go grab some lunch now. We're gonna put our stuff in the car. Yeah. And we just parked across the street. They have plenty of public parking too. So. I got adorable hats. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice hat. All right, we're gonna go get some lunch. So we love this area of uh, Annapolis. And I always get that Williamsburg vibe because they've done such a great job kind of giving that colonial feel to it. But uh, they got a baseball game, I think, going on today here in Kannapolis. Something's going on at the, at the field, but uh, let me show you what it looks like down here. Yeah, so we're trying to look for some place to eat. There's restaurants all along here and breweries, things like that, and all kinds of cool little shops. All kinds of shops in there. Yeah, it's really nice through here. Let me show you up, up this way as well. If you turn around, we got all that up here. Yeah, tons of stuff. But the cannonballers, who were once the uh, Intimidators, are here now. There's a coffee shop and desserts right here. But we're heading down this way. There's a couple of places we want to look at and get something to eat. So we're going to try this restaurant now. It's a Latin restaurant. It smells good. Get something to eat. But a lot of these old buildings are being restored and stuff like this. Sabor. Latin Street Grill right here. So we're going to check out the menu and grab something to eat. So our food is here and Connie got the Cuban 
bowl. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Looks like she's going to enjoy that. Oh, yeah. And then I got the build your own bowl. It's got the uh, grilled chicken in here with a mixture of just about everything. So that looks delicious. All right, we're going to chow down. And today I win the Clean Your Plate Award. Yeah, I devoured that. That was awesome. And Connie couldn't eat all of hers. We're going to take that to go. Yeah, that lunch was delicious. But this is the Armor, old Armor Beer Garden right here with the Armor Grill right here. And everybody's outside eating. I mean, it's such a lovely day. And uh, over here, get the game going on. You see over there in the distance. I think it's the Cannonballers. Yeah, they're playing over there at the Atrium Health Field. A lot of outside eating, which I love. I mean, it's a gorgeous day today. It's pretty amazing. But all of the fountains. Yeah. And I remember years ago when they first started doing this, this used to be a full drive through area where you had parking and everything, but they made it very pedestrian friendly now. It is such a nice day. We decided to sit down uh, at one of the tables here outside. Uh, <clears throat> Cannon Mills Village. It's beautiful here. And if you ever here, yeah, grab some dinner, some coffee, dessert, all kinds of great little boutiques and shops all along here. You know, yeah, it's, it's such a beautiful day. Yeah, the old Cannon Mills over there. Consider Cannon Mills Village. All kinds of cool shops. A bike shop here. The old outdoors uh, store here called Half Moon Outfitters. There's Connie. <laughs> and then uh, all the way down um, are different restaurants and other cool boutiques and shops all kinds of great artwork throughout we get to hear the baseball game going on behind us at the cannonballers at their field there and uh, yeah it's such a great day here I, just, I love coming here and just we're just chilling out excited to enjoy the weather and this is a real cute dessert place here my sister's place ice cream and fudge here it is right here. Here's the entryway. Such a cool place right there. Get your ice cream. So we're heading up this way. And some more sh cool shops, and boutiques. The one here, Ellie Teak. In the barber shop. And I thought, well, something interesting right here. They got a uh, sock car track racing place. Bring your cars and race them. I love what they've done to these old buildings. More stuff here. But yeah, there's a slot car place right here. Go in there and bring your cars in there and do some slot car racing. Nice. So, hitting this way, I want to show you the uh, Jim's Theater right down right around the corner here to the right. But this is the whole research center, too, right over here. And if you want to feel like you're an old. Uh, Hollywood. Here's the gym theater. They're uh, doing some uh, refurbishment to it, but it's beautiful architecture. Back up. There you go. See it much better. I went inside there and took some video of it, and uh, you just fucking go back in time. I'm trying to remember what year it was built. And look over here. There's the old ticket booth right here. Isn't that cool? Just like it was. 1936 was when this was built. It's all original still operational and uh national registry of historic places which is great there you go if you have a chance to see it when they reopen it go in there and check it out it's amazing it's a huge theater but yeah it's definitely old hollywood So we wanted to thank you guys for joining us here in Kannapolis and yeah. walking around the Marketplace Antique Mall and some of uh, uh, Kannapolis, uh, the little uh, village there, C Cannon Village. A lot of fun. Lunch was really good. Yep. And I thought that train was coming, but it stopped right here. <laughs> it's picking up passengers. So, yeah. So we didn't catch a train going by real fast. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more. Yes. We'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and next week is the Bigfoot Festival. Yeah. Oh, we can't wait. Should be a blast. Yep. All right, guys. You have All a great right. week. Bye-bye.